Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you what the numbers mean in the software version in the BYD system menu. So to see the version number, we have to access the system version which is here under version details. And from here you can see some of the numbers here. The first one is the software version and the bottom one is actually the firmware version. So let's dive deeper into what actually the numbers mean in the menu. So from here you can actually see from the system version, it shows the software version itself. The first number 13 is actually tied to the major chipset version that is the system is running on. The next number that we are looking at is actually the 32. So this number is actually tied to the car model that you are driving, in which the list actually goes very long. So I'll probably type this in in the description itself and which you can refer to. But in my case 32 is actually running for the BYD M6 version. So the next number we are actually looking at is the very long number followed behind the 32 which is the 2407240. So this number in particular describes the year and month that the software version is developed and as well as a minor version followed behind. Mm -hmm. So the 24 actually means the year in which this is 2024 and the 07 means it's July. So in summary, this is actually a July 2024 version and the remaining numbers are actually just the minor version number which is 240.1 So I guess minor fixes for the software will probably just change the numbers behind So likewise for the firmware version, the number reads the same and then uh, it's slightly lengthy because there's actually two portions to this number So this first portion of the numbers is actually the current version the firmware is running on so the second portion of the numbers is actually the base firmware version that is released together with the hardware when it's out from the factory. So knowing these two portions, you can actually read it similarly as how you read the software version. The first number is actually the chipset number, which is the same 13. The second and the third is actually the firmware version, major versions and minor versions. So the remaining numbers is actually the same, showing the year, the month and the minor version from the firmware. I believe we have seen many online tutorials on how to do the downgrade and upgrade of the software and so something to note is actually the base firmware version that the system is running on so whenever you are doing a downgrade of the software version it should never go below the firmware the base firmware version never if you happen to actually downgrade to a version below the base firmware version the software will actually break in the sense that you will never, we will not be able to do, perform any more upgrades or downgrades and it gets stuck with the last software version that you downgraded with. But on the other hand, when performing upgrades, you are actually freely able to just upgrade to whichever version that you want to. So it's probably just the downgrade itself that actually needs to take note that you remember not to downgrade below the base firmware version. Alright, from here we will try to explore some of the hidden system menus on the software. So when performing multiple tabs on the version details, you can actually access this menu here. In which tapping on the restore settings bring you to another hidden menu, but this is probably useless for us. And the last one is tapping on the factory reset and brings you the last menu. Thanks for watching.